Star Wars Crimson Empire It is a time of turmoil. The last of Emperor Palpatine's clones has been destroyed by Luke Skywalker and his rebel allies. And control of the shattered remnants of the Empire now awaits their being ruthless enough to take it. A temporary ruling council has formed behind the scenes to maintain order. But the council itself is splintered by the conflicting ambitions of its members. Intrigue, deception and betrayal are commonplace as those who would replace the Emperor pursue their private goals. One man, Carnor Jax, holds sway over the Council. Having gained secret knowledge which could destroy each of his rivals, Jax has extorted his way to a position of prominence within the Council. But Carnor Jax's personal ambitions reach far beyond the temporary ruling body. He plans to position himself as a new Dark Lord, with the aid of the equally ambitious General Wessel, and eventually ascend to Palpatine's throne. Only one other knows of the Council's secrets and of Jax's plans. Hiding on the galaxy's outer edges, this lonely figure bides his time, awaiting his chance to destroy them all. Landing party, this is the destiny. Report. Destiny, this is the landing party. We lost three ships coming to the asteroid shroud, but squad two is intact, mostly. What is your current position? We've established a perimeter about 100 meters from the dwelling our sensors picked up. Nothing's coming out of there unless we let it. Keep your eyes open, Sergeant. From what I've heard of this man, he won't be easy to catch. Proceed with your mission. Destiny out. You heard the man. Blaster's on full. I thought we were supposed to bring him in alive, Sarge. Bilkins, if half the stuff I heard about this guy is true, we'll be lucky to bring him in at all. Why is everybody firing all thrusters for just one target? We can have that little building down there cleared and under... Save your questions for your court-martial, Bilkins. This target's high priority. So we treat him like high priority. End of story. Now fan out. Let's do it by the numbers, boys. Call it out. Front entrance, no movement. Back entrance, all clear. North side of house, all clear. Same on the south side, no sign of movement. No signs of life anywhere. Could be empty, Sarge. Yeah, and Palpatine's my daddy. Check the door, Wilkins. Roger, Sarge. See, Sarge, I told you it was empty. Hey, what's that? Pull back! Fall back, you... Officer. You can't go that way. You'll have to go through customs before you leave the docking bay. I wasn't aware that an out-of-the-way planet like Feta had a customs division. This is still the Empire. State your business and show me your identification. My business is exactly that. Mine. As for my identification, you'll find everything you need right there. This data disk is empty. I think you'll find what you're looking for in the small compartment on the back. One thousand credit chip! Are you trying to buy the customs official? <laughs> This is still the Empire, isn't it? Very well, I accept. Move along! Move along! You there! Halt! State your business! I don't care what any of you say. We're better off without old Palpatine. It's time for new ideas. The Empire's crumbling! I heard the Rebels captured a superstar destroyer. The Lusankia, over in the Vanek system. That's because the politicians are running the show now. At least the Emperor knew how to deal with the rebels. Well, yeah, until they killed him. I like Carner Jax. He knows how to deal with traitors. Hey, either of you recognize that guy at the bar? No. He wanted? I think he wants trouble. He was just eavesdropping on our conversation. Oh, yeah? 
Jax can dive nude into a supernova for all I care. He's out for himself and doesn't give a rip for soldiers like us. Yeah, I'd be more cautious if I were you. This conversation borders on treason, and I'm telling you, that guy is... I don't care who's listening. Hey! Hey! You there! Why are you listening to conversations that don't concern you? Words spoken so loudly are there for anybody to hear. Oh, an insubordinate, huh? That's some nasty scar you got on your face there. <laughs> Maybe I'll make another one to match it. <laughs> you and your group have nothing to fear from me. Just return to your table and enjoy what's left of the evening. Didn't you know that when an Imperial officer asks you a question, you answer it? No kidding. Tell me why you were listening. Or I'll remove that scar the hard way. I'm going to ask you a second time. Sit down. And you won't be harmed. Oh, I won't be. I think I better teach you a little respect. Watch it. He's got it. Let me pass. And I'll let the two of you live. Like that. Get him. Will be closed, but I know a place. And why should I trust you? Because I can lead you to safety. This canteen is a favor to the local garrison. More stormtroopers will be on their way. You want to fight a whole battalion? Or take your chances with me? The alarm came from in here. Lead the way. General Wessel. I trust you've come to report that you succeeded in capturing Kirkanos. Well, not exactly, Lord Jax. Not exactly. My men tracked him to an outer rim planet called Zadja in the Trilon sector, but he escaped before they could lay hands on him. Are you sure it was Kanos? We lost three squads in the attempt. <laughs> that is Kanos. We believe that he is still somewhere in that sector. Perhaps if we... No. He's far away from there by now. Believe me, General, I know how he thinks. Kanos is as resourceful as he is treacherous. I want to make myself very clear. If you lose him again, you will answer to me. Tear the galaxy apart, planet by planet, if that's what it takes, but find him. As long as he lives, our plans can never come to fruition. As long as he's alive, the Empire, our Empire, is in jeopardy. But my lord, surely no one man can be that much of a <laughs> You have no idea what this one man is capable of. But I do. He is the only man in all the galaxy who can stand in the way of my... of our planet. As you say, my lord. From this moment on, General Wessel, you have but one mission. Find Kier Kanos. Name's Mercon. Tim Mercon. That was some number you did on those Imperials back at the cantina. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we get mostly thugs and thieves around these parts. Brawlers, backstabbers. But you fought with discipline. I mean, real style. <laughs> uh, you're a real chatty fellow. I'm guessing you've got a military background. But you didn't come out of the regular academy, am I right? Maybe you're right. I shouldn't point my scanners at other people's business. Man's got a right to his privacy. You've got a point there. But I've traveled a bit, and I've seen some things. The only men I've ever seen with the kinds of moves you've got were either Jedi Knights or members of Palpatine's elite guard. You got anything to say? Is this the place? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my little hidey hole. <laughs> Used to be my domicile till things started looking up. I use it as a warehouse now, mostly. Come on in. Done my share of trading. And you know a trader can't play by imperial rules and still make an honest credit. So 
I had to make a few alterations to the storeroom. Like this underground chamber, hidden underneath a stack of motivators I could never unload. <sighs> well, come on. This leads down to my hiding place. You go first. <laughs> right. <laughs> down we go. Oh. oh, my bones are getting too old for that. Hey, up there, any time you want to come down here and join me, I'll... There is no need to shout. Please! Blast it! You, you, you move pretty quiet. <laughs> well, this is the place. Not much, just a square room. A couple of chairs and a cart. It's rough, but then I didn't build it for comfort. There's food and water to last a full cycle. Of course, you won't be down here anywhere near that long, huh? <laughs> On the way, you mentioned friends. Uh, yeah, oh, you got a beef with the Imperials? And I got friends who'll want to help you. Uh, in the meantime, well, why don't you get some sleep? You look like you could use it. I'll be back. Sleep. I haven't closed my eyes since I was halfway across the galaxy. Recording activated. Uh, okay. This is my first entry. It's begun. If things are ever set right in this galaxy, this record is going to be useless. But if I die before things do get set right, maybe this will help someone continue my work. Okay, where to begin? That man, Mercon, called this room rough. It is nothing compared to what I've been through. It's not even as bad as regular stormtrooper duty. That is where all this began. Ten years ago, the day I was drafted into the most elite unit in the galaxy. The Emperor's Royal Guard. We'd never even seen the Royal Guard before. They only attended the Emperor himself, but we'd heard of them. They were ghosts dressed in red, blood-colored phantoms. One of them was worth a hundred regular stormtroopers. They were the best in the galaxy. How could we say no? The next few years went by in a blur. Time did not matter on the planet Inchor, only our training. Day after day, we honed our skills in a deadly arena suspended over a deep pit. A single misstep meant death. It was the testing ground known as the Squall. Now, is that the best you've got, Kano? I wouldn't waste my best on you, Connor Jax. My blade. Long gone now. I'm going to have to get another. <laughs> I'll face it, Kier Kanos. In the squall, I always win. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> the galaxy is a big place, and what we learn in the squall won't always apply. What's that? A visitor. A visitor? I've been on the intro for three years now. We've never had it. All trainees assemble around the edge of the squall. Double time. Yes, yes sir. sir. Jax. Who's coming down from the landing port? The squad's all dressed in red. Yeah. But only one squad dresses that way. The Royal Guard. That means that our visitors. Bow down, you dogs. Down on one knee. Sir, as you command. As you command. <laughs> great deal out of loyalty to me. They honor me with their sacrifice. I shall speak with them. My students stand ready to... You there, rise. What is your name? I... I'm Kier Kanos, Your Excellency. I know your life here cannot be easy, and your training is exceedingly difficult. Yes, sire, but prepares me for a life of service to my emperor. Excellent. Lord Vader? Yes, my master. You are prepared for the demonstration? As it pleases you, my master. You may begin. Taskmaster, who is your best student? Burdanid is the most proficient, although Karnor Jax and Kir Kanos are... Burdanid. Yes, Lord Vader. Step into the squall with me. Now, take up your weapon. 
my lord? Attack me. Hold nothing back. But, your excellency? Do your duty, son. We watched the contest. I had fought Bird Danid many times in practice. His attacks were awesome. His defenses flawless. His technique perfect. Yet Vader toyed with him as if he were a child. My blade is at your throat, Danid. You do not ask for mercy. No, Lord Vader. As it should be. Give them your assessment, Lord Vader. If he was your best, you are not yet fit to serve the Emperor. You are weak. Return to your studies. You have much to learn. We did have a lot to learn. But Lord Vader had already taught us one thing. Service to the Emperor demanded more than mere perfection. Kanos, first entry. Terminated. And you say one person was responsible for all this? That's right, Colonel Shep. Just one. Guy with a wicked scar across his face. A scar? I never saw anything like it. His fighting, I mean. I figured he could have took out the officers because they've been, you know, tipping the cup, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But once reinforcements arrived, I figured he was cooked. But he took these guys out as easy as can be. Well, who was he? I don't know. I've seen every kind of mercenary and killer come through my place, but this one, oh, this one was something else. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Take this man into custody as a material witness. What? But, but I, I got a place to run. And I have a murderer to catch. Hey, hey, this is unfair. Where's the justice? What are you doing? Lieutenant! Sir! Cancel all departures from Feta. No ships are to leave this spaceport. Yes, sir. An incident like this could attract the attention of Central Command and ruin everything we've built here. Extortion of local shippers and merchants has brought in a tidy profit, and the last thing we want is someone higher up in the chain of command interfering. You think this killer could mean that much trouble, sir? Well, you heard the barkeeper. This was no ordinary thug. No. What we have here is the work of an outlaw. And I plan to catch him and make sure that his past catches up with him. Trying to keep my options open, Mirith. Here we go. Hey, stranger, I brought me. Oh! Nobody moves. Sadie, put down that blaster. What's the deal? I do you a favor and you nearly crack my jaw. Who are these people? These are the friends I told you about. My name is Mirith Sin. I command the New Republic forces in this sector. This is my second in command, Sadit. Direct your blaster away from my commander, or you and I will have a serious problem. I point my weapons wherever I want. So far, it's only been a problem for people on the other end. At ease, commander. So, you're the one that has all of Feta in an uproar. Mm. You know, Colonel Shev started turning the planet inside out looking for you. <laughs> if you can fight as well as Murkon claims... I'll be glad to have you join us. If this man can fight half as well as Mercon claims, I'll be a two-tailed slewed gulper. We share a common enemy, that's all. I never agreed to join you or your yapping pet. It's up to you, stranger. You're right. Maybe we've got no reason to trust each other. Yeah. But after what you did at the cantina, I assumed we were on the same side. Hmm. Mercon stuck his neck out to help you. Mm -hmm. So have I. You don't have to be grateful, but you should be smart. Mm. The way Shev's troops are looking for you, it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We're offering you a safe haven. You can trust them. But it appears I have no choice. For now, let our common enemy unite us. The speeder's right over here. Come on, stranger, I'll show you where to sit. I don't like this. Something's not right about him. Why are we helping? A man with his skill and bearing doesn't end up on a dirt ball like Feta without a reason. I mean to find out what that reason is. Mm. Don't worry, Sadit. If he compromises us in any way, you can always get rid of him then. Mm -mm. 
Thanks, Murkon. Your help is always appreciated. Think nothing of it, Merith. Always glad to help my friends in the New Republic. Here, for your troubles. <laughs> and always glad to be reimbursed for my efforts. Now, go quickly. Stay away from the main boulevards. I know one of Chev's lieutenants. I'll see if I can't sidetrack the search effort a bit. <laughs> Very well. But don't take any undue risks. You're our eyes and ears in the city. We can't afford to lose you. You what? I, I, I forwarded the report on the Cantina murders to Central Command. It's standard operating procedure. You I, idiot! I, I thought I told you I wanted this kept quiet. Yes, sir. But it's standard procedure. I didn't think I could oh, just... Oh, by the but... Emperor's bones! You'll conspire with me to bribe an entire planet, but you're afraid to fudge a blasted report? <sighs> I'll have to amend it somehow. Send a revision. It's too late, sir. General Wessel has taken some sort of interest in the murders. He's online now. Blast your bones. General Wessel, Colonel Shev at your service, sir. And to what do I owe this honor? You know the reason, Shell. I've seen the report on the Cantina incident. Is the individual responsible in custody? Uh, not yet, sir. But every spaceport has been secured. I am certain that it's only a matter of time until... Your time is my time, Gunship. What? Is that... <laughs> Lord Jax! I had no idea you were patched into the comlink. I shall make... I've taken a personal interest in this incident. In fact, General Wessel and I are en route to Feta as we speak. Here? But, Lord Jax, I assure you that that isn't necessary. I'm sure that my troops Your can handle... Your troops will do nothing, Colonel. I will not have this fugitive escape because of the incompetence of your poorly trained back planet units. I will oversee the capture of this man myself. Order your troops to stand down and await my arrival. But my lord... Jack's I... out. What are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is understand that there will be no reports sent to Central Command without my prior approval. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Colonel Shev. What? One of our informants says he has information concerning the location of the fugitive. Send him in. Now, while I'm interviewing this informant, I want you to organize our troops. It is imperative that we capture the outlaw before Jax arrives. But, sir, I thought Lord Jax ordered a stand-down. Do you really think this garrison can withstand the scrutiny of a visit by Lord Jax? No. The only way for any of us to keep our commissions is for us to have the fugitive in custody when Jax arrives. But if we fail... If we're still hunting when he gets here... Don't worry, don't worry. I suspect I'm about to receive information that will guarantee our success. You mean this informant? It's probably just another gutter scum looking for a reward. May I come in, Colonel Chef? Of course. <laughs> if half of what I've heard of you is true, you're welcome. Now, tell me your name. My name is Mercon. And I can tell you where to find the man you're looking for. Murkon, how do I know your information is accurate? I keep my ears open, Colonel, sir. Keep my eyes open, too. For what I've got... You'll pay me big. <laughs> or I'll kill you if you're wasting my time. <laughs> this information had better lead me to the fugitive. Him, plus a rebel stronghold in your own backyard. A rebel outpost? Here? <laughs> On Fader? That's impossible. Uh, apparently not. Why, you... you! <sighs> Do not forget your place. Any more insolence like that, and I'll feed you to my battle dogs. Now... I have received no information concerning a rebel stronghold on my planet. Your lieutenants spend more time collecting bribes at the customs stations than they do guarding your glorious empire from the enemy. And I suppose you're a patriot? I suspect you've known about this rebel hideout for some time. Lieutenant! Sir! Get the details from this slime trail. Pay him what he wants, then throw him into the street. And if his information isn't correct? Time is running out. General Wessel will be here shortly with Lord Jax, and we don't have many options, do we? If Murkon is telling the truth, we'll have one chance to remedy the situation. Do not fail. I'll see that the preparations are made. This mountain 
mountain chain extends for a thousand kilometers in either direction. It's the backbone of the planet. We're only about 50 clicks from the spaceport, but it might as well be another star system for the terrain that has to be covered. We're building a stronghold right under the Empire's nose. Their scouts do flyovers all the time, but they haven't spotted us. Well, that's surprising, considering your defenses are so obvious. Obvious? They're hidden enough to have escaped your notice, stranger. Not really. We've already passed by four perimeter outposts camouflaged to look like rock formations. You missed one. I wasn't counting the fifth because it's been abandoned. You're wrong there. Uh, Sadiq, he's right. We pulled Team 6 off that station and powered it down last week. Here we are. Welcome back, man. Hey, 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 how's how's it? It? Hey, yeah. friend. hey, Massimo. Hope you didn't accidentally come link to the Imperials while I was gone. <laughs> we did, but they thought we were just ordering takeout. <laughs> so, this the guy from the cantina? That he is. That story true, stranger? You really killed 20 Imperials with just a hand-to-hand -hand weapon? If that's the story, I see no reason to change it. How'd you learn to fight like that? By sticking my nose where it didn't belong. <laughs> What's with this guy, Commander? Sounds like he's looking for trouble. I'd be disappointed there. You'd be no trouble at all. Enough, both of you. Why'd you bring him here, Commander? He's a fugitive from the Empire, Massimo, and one who knows how to fight. I offered him sanctuary. In our secret base? How do we know the scene at the cantina wasn't a setup? Twenty Imperials, my afterburners. How do we know he isn't a spy? That's right, that's right. That's right. You, who are you? Where do you come from? What's your name? My name is Kier Kanos. It will not be difficult for you to discover that the Empire has placed a price on my head. I will not trouble you long with my presence. Kanos is here on my authority, Massimo. If you want to challenge that, you'd better bring it up with the New Republic Command. Until then, have the mess hall prepare a meal for our guest. Thank you. The food was excellent. That's all you're eating? If I'd been hiding out in Mercon's basement like that, I'd be hungry enough to eat a bantha. <laughs> a full stomach dulls the senses. Meaning you don't feel safe here. Look, you'll have to forgive Massimo and Sadit. Mm. They aren't usually so belligerent. I think they feel threatened by you. Yeah. You carry yourself like a man looking for a fight. Well, I am, but not with them. So what's your story, Kirkanos? You a noble on the run? <laughs> or an Imperial officer wanted for treason? I'm no more noble than you are. Hmm, a traitor then. I've never betrayed anyone. Then what about your loyalties? He you said back in town something about a common enemy. That was curious. Whose side are you on, the New Republic or the Empire? I'm no friend of the ruling council, if that's the answer you want. The Council has seized power in an illegal manner. Every man on it is a traitor, and I've sworn to do everything in my power to bring about its downfall. That scar on your face. I've seen a wound like that before. It was made by a lightsaber, wasn't it? That's irrelevant. I guess it's pretty unlikely. There are so few Jedi left. And what about you? How did you end up as a leader of a group of rebels in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> We're not rebels anymore, Kanos. We're the New Republic. Haven't you heard? Yes, yeah, someone might imagine that. <laughs> now your story. It's short. Yeah? I grew up on Nez Peron. I was going to marry a farmer. We didn't have much, but it was enough to make a life. Mm -hmm. We would have been happy. But? But, one day an Imperial frigate dropped into orbit. They'd been damaged in a fight against the rebel fleet. Mm. They came down demanding supplies. My fiancé objected. So they killed him without warning. I promised that I wouldn't stop fighting until the Empire was destroyed. Vengeance. We do have something in common. Here. Massimo, the door buzzer works, you know. Where's Sadiq? You want to hear this too? He's back in town, monitoring troop movements. What is it? I decided to take your guest's advice and do some checking on him. Thought you'd want to know that by bringing him here, you've jeopardized our very existence. What are you talking about? Kanos doesn't just have a price on his head. He's wanted by Karnor Jax himself. All the more reason we should trust him, Massimo. Anyone who frags the most powerful member of the ruling council has got to be a friend of ours. I'm no one's friend. You got that right, stranger. Massimo, outside now. I want a word with you. But... I am still in command here. Outside. Recorder on. Recording. That woman, Mirith, does
doesn't know how honest I'm being with her. If only she'd been there on Yinchur on that last day of our training. 